Okay, so normally I like to uh, wait several days after I've finished a book before I sit down and do a book review for you guys so I can like sit and stew over my opinions. But with this one, like, I've been excited to talk to you about it since, like, I started reading it. So I only just finished this late Sunday night, and I'm going to talk about it now. It's time for Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. So Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell takes place in the early 19th century in England. And in this version of England, magic once existed but died out hundreds of years ago. But then, all of a sudden out of nowhere comes Mr. Norrell who's like, hey, what's up? I've got magic powers. And everybody's like, what? <sighs> I should not be allowed to summarize things. So naturally he becomes an overnight celebrity because people get really excited about magic. And then, almost simultaneously, a man named Jonathan Strange realizes that he has a natural magical aptitude. And so these two team up as teacher and pupil and start to try to restore magic to England. And then basically the novel deals with the two of them and their relationship and rediscovering English magic and it's, it's way more epic than I'm making it sound right now. So this book was originally published in 2004 and it was one of the first books to get saddled with the marketing label of Harry Potter for Grown Ups, uh, which is not what this is. This is actually like uh, if Charles Dickens or Jane Austen wrote a fantasy novel. And if you're anything like me, you're sitting there right now going, oh my god, I did not know that I even wanted that until just now. That sounds totally awesome, right? Also, this book contains so many things that I like that you, you can probably just consider this video an endum to uh, my Buzzwords and Deal Breakers video. Like, alternate history and footnotes. There's a footnote that starts right here, goes to the bottom of the page, starts up here again, goes to the bottom of this page. That's all one footnote. I love footnotes, you guys. Several interconnected plots woven together. A really great dry humor. Like seriously, the narrative voice in this novel is hilarious. It actually reminds me a little bit of uh, the voice that Daniel Handler writes in when he writes his Lemony Snicket. And it's challenging, but it's like the fun kind of challenging. It's not the kind where you're sitting there just going, oh, why am I doing this to myself? Like it took me a really long time because it's very long and it's, it's very dense. The denseness is probably more of a factor in how long it took me than the length actually. But it's just so good and there's so much here. So yeah, if Charles Dickens or Jane Austen wrote a fantasy novel sounds at all appealing to you, then I would say yeah, definitely read this. It's really good. So if you have also read this novel, I would love to know what you thought and I will see you soon. Bye.